always known that creativity came from millions of crevices in my brain. How it happens, we're uncovering. It is in the language of many scientists in the space of neuroaesthetics. What does creativity look like in the brain? And what can it do to the brain? My name is Geraldina Interiano Wise. I am an artist based in Houston. And I find myself in this incredible opportunity in a collaboration with Dr. Jose Contreras Vidal at University of Houston. Creativity is perhaps one of the most distinguished features of humankind. Just understanding how creativity and the neural networks that are involved can be used for discovery uh, is very important for science and engineering. The way that I explain this project is that we are putting art and science together. We are developing a model of Geraldina's uh, way of thinking and creating art and using this model to understand how her brain areas talk to each other during this creative process. My brain waves are being captured in real time, sonified, and then put through algorithms that are going to in turn generate a digital painting, which is what I call the Nawal. And the Nawal is basically a mirror spirit in my cosmology, believing that you need that spirit to guide you. We are measuring the brain in action and context. That's very important to, to really understand how the brain works. At each performance, we collect a data point that we use to train the AI model. So every time we add a point to the cloud, we learn a little bit more about how Gerardina brain works. Being given the opportunity to go into my brain, to know my brain, to know why I'm different, to know what makes me an artist was a really compelling reason to go into collaboration. That I was going to show my brain to anybody, much less scientists that could even say something about my brain or see something about my brain, was incredibly vulnerable. But from that place of vulnerability, perhaps came that moment of creativity in which one can just let the brain, the body, the thinking rip. This is a very challenging problem. We don't expect to solve this in the immediate future. But I know that we're getting closer and closer to knowing how the computer-generated digital projection can be more similar to what my output would be. And we both understand and love the Myers. And so this is a really nice way to connect our interests and our backgrounds uh, with, also with our science and engineering. So it's about culture, it's about global understanding, it's about history. The idea of going into the new frontier, I always thought it was technology, perhaps the moon when I was little, but the one that really is gonna change humanity is the frontier of the brain. <laughs>